Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about key management. So, what is that key management? Let's try to understand with an example. Suppose, in our previous classes, we discussed about symmetric key cryptography technique. Suppose A and B wants to exchange some information. They need a secret key between A and B. That's what we call it as shared key. Means in order to exchange information, if you want to encrypt, you need a key. That we call it as shared key. Suppose if A wants to exchange information with N different people. So A needs N different shared keys between this N different people. Similarly, if N different people want to share information among them, how many different keys you are, are to be generated? N multiplied by N minus 1 by 2 keys are to be generated. Now think about it in a big picture. If 1 million people over internet, if they want to exchange the information, how many keys has to be generated? So we need to manage that and we need to reduce those number of keys that generated in order to exchange the information between two parties. How we are going to do that? That's we are going to understand it here. Along with that, you need to understand one more point. Suppose if A and B wants to exchange information, means they are going to do encryption. In order to do encryption, you need the key. Then how key is shared between A and B? If key is shared between A and B over the internet, it is not safe. If someone hacked the key, then the entire process is of no use. The key should be shared without that the key should be shared without knowing to anyone. How we are going to do that? That point also we are going to understand. This is the old method. In our next classes, we are going to discuss the new methods which how the key is to be shared between A and B without uh, knowing to any other persons. Now coming to this, uh, in order to manage the keys, uh, so what happens is some, some days it is going to, uh, in, in the olden days, they maintain this like this. Uh, <laughs> they, <coughs> they maintain the key distribution center. Means anyone who wants to exchange information, they has to be registered with this key distribution center. By the time you registered with key distribution center, the, the two parties means KDC and A. Suppose A is going to A registered with KDC. A and KDC are going to exchange one in one key that is the secret key between A and KDC. Similarly, if B registered, B KB is the key that is shared between KDC and B. This is the secret key which B is going to use in order to share information between B and KDC. Similarly, KD is the key between D and KDC. Similarly, C, KC is the key between KDC and KC. C. <coughs> Suppose, if A wants to exchange the information with B, what happens? How the key is to be shared between A and B? without knowing any any other person in the over the internet that we are going to understand suppose if a wants to share information with b first it is going to send message to kdc ka sends a sends message to kdc stating that what it will say is it is going to send a's id this unique id and b's unique id it is going to send that message to kdc Means KDC is going to understand that A wants to share some information to B. These two parties need some session key. Means some new key has to be generated and that key should be shared between A and B. So that using that key, these two parties can be share information. So now what KDC is going to do is by getting these IDs, generate a ticket kdc is going to generate a ticket what's inside the ticket it's inside the ticket we are having aid bid some new key is generated and that key we call it as session key why we call this as session key means so this key is used only for this time 
after one hour if you want to send the message again to b a and b between a and b again new session key has to be generated see here this ticket aid bid session key this is going to be encrypted with b's key key that is the secret key that shared between kdc and b using that key it is going to be encrypted means this ticket can be decrypted only by b <laughs> because kb is there only with b so what it will do next is uh, this ticket is added to session key session key plus ticket the encrypted ticket means this is already encrypted with kb session key plus encrypted ticket again it is going to be encrypted with ka means two time encryption one time with kb one time with ka now this message the encrypted message sent to a <coughs> using its key it is going to decrypt it and in this it is going to take the session key and this ticket is sent to kb now kb can open it because this ticket is encrypted with kb kb can open it the third point is a opens and takes session key ticket is sent to b b can open the ticket and it can decrypt it and it is going to get the session key and it is going to know that a wants to send message to b using the session key now a and b can send information using that session key this is what happens by using kdc but think like this see millions of people want to share information <coughs> how kdc is going to maintain all this we need multiple kdc key distribution centers this is going to be more complex so that's why we need a new technique where the key can be exchanged between a and b without knowing to any other third party over the internet we need some technique so there are there are some techniques which we are going to discuss how key can be shared between a and b in the internet without knowing to the third per, third person that concept we are going to discuss in our next class hope you understand this class if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates